behind the rule of 1111 is to draw the parallel to a website called Stack Overflow. And what you're trying to do with uh, the rule of 1111 is to put so many things through the filter that the filter overflows, thus the stack overflow of a filter. The way that rule of level works is you keep pummeling the credit bureaus with positive information. Positive information is recorded as an on-time payment or a one. So the rule of 1111 really is the rule of 24 ones in a row, which is 24 months of on-time payments that are associated in your solo name, solo meaning uno, your solo name with one social security number attached. So you yourself are actually applying for credit. Core and key challenges and barriers that keep you from executing the rule of 1111, which is on-time payments. One is realizing that a $300 credit line is a great start. That is your own credit line, your own social security number. And that's done through a subroutine called hashtag 530 Litton, 530 Litton. I know it's a real place, so it's a real place, it's a real subroutine, and it's the address for a Bank of America in Palo Alto, 530 Litton, L is in Larry, Y, T, T, two T's, O, N, hashtag 530 Litton. You wanna write that down. So what you're doing with 530 Litton is you are applying for a $300 credit line that you might have to deposit $300 in. Once you deposit that money and you make 10 to $20 transactions uh, once a month and then pay that on time, that gets recorded as a one. Credit bureaus, Experian Equifax Trade Union, they don't make any distinction between an on-time payment made for 20 bucks or $20,000. The interface where you, the consumer, the undergrad consumer, are adding information to Experian, TransUnion, Equifax is done via a Bank of America on-time payment. And you wanna log in twice a month to make small payments on time and in a row. A lot of people think, oh, you have to go into debt to build credit. You do not. You never have to pay interest. You merely need to transact small business that gets recorded on a B of A MasterCard or Visa. And what you're doing with that is you are, you are owing a small amount of money and then paying it before the due date. You have a grace period and you just pay it off in full. And the misperception is that you have to owe a couple thousand dollars. You don't. You can do this on super small lines of credit. So this is where it gets advanced in a hurry. So what you're doing as a undergrad entrepreneur founder is you're using the subroutine, the, the business protocol of hashtag 530Litton, you are using that specifically to try to get a larger line of credit that you don't have to use, but that you have access to. In fact, you can get a $15 million credit line by starting with a $300 credit line. It involves getting a little bit of revenue, and every time you get revenue, you ask for a credit line increase. Banks want to do something called securitize your loan. So if you're borrowing X amount, you can securitize it with 1.2x that amount. So you can ratchet it up in a hurry. And the reason 530 Litton is so awesome and funny is that there's a bunch of venture capital firms that are actually at that address that sort of know about these things, but they really are high vision people, meaning they can't execute the, the basic details. These are the basic details, which is under the hashtag and the subroutine 530lit. Coding, doing CS coding, you Google a little, you execute a little, and you run a little. So you're, you're doing, you're Googling, and it's a cycle. And that's what hashtag 530lit is meant to do with the rule of 1111, is you wanna try to Google, read, execute, interact with me, uh, the author of these subroutines. And these are based on two books, What They Don't Teach You at Harvard Business School and The Ultimate Credit Handbook by Jerry Detweiler. Jerry, G-E-R-R-I, Detweiler with a D. It autofills if you type in Ultimate Credit Handbook. So you're trying to bring these two books together 
in a method that allows you to combine two subroutines together, which is 530 Litten, hashtag 530 Litten, and the rule of 1111.